So in the previous talk I was talking about PVP, um, but I'm really concerned about the security of PVP. So I also came up with the concept of somehow compartmentalizing um, the key material that we have. And the, the only way to do this properly is to have it outside of the compromised machine where you do all your correspondence basically most of the time. So I looked around and looked for some cheap solution and I found the ARM32 processors that are able to do sort crypto at reasonable speeds, have not all kinds of bloated hardware features, of course they do, but not at the level of like A9 or A8 uh, CPU system on, the, on a uh, computer uh, chips um, as you have on, on your mobile phones. The, the hardware attack surface is much smaller, um, uh, but they still have DNA, of course. So, and I've, I've been developing this, this hardware tool called a Pitchfork. This is one of the prototypes, uh, or the dashboard where the prototypes run on. Um, I, was, I was planning to have ready prototypes here at the camp, but I failed at that, uh, maybe at the, uh, at the Congress. Um, we will see. Um, but while developing this, I actually developed something um, that I'm, I think some other people might find also useful, and this is a Python debugger. It is called PyRSP. Yeah. So um, yes. Uh, so I have this tool called PyRSP. RSP is the re uh, Remote Serial Protocol of GNU GDB, and basically all the tools that you can, uh, you know, this is I'm interested. So uh, basically all the tools that you interface with GDB are talking this protocol. Uh, JTAG debuggers, Bus Pirates support JTAG. They we are open OCD. They support this protocol, and even Kremu uh, supports the G GDB Remote Serial Protocol. So you can run your uh, little test programs in a virtual machine with Kremu, and can have debug access to that. And um, it is really, really convenient to debug fast and even write embedded hardware unit tests with this tool. Uh, what I want to show you is this really cool. So, um, RSP basically loads an F file and supports, as you can see, AMD64, I3368, and um, ARM32 um, CPUs at the moment, but more can be added. Basically, you need to add the registers that are being spooled back by the, by the uh, endpoint. Um, what is really interesting, you can script your, G your debug session, basically. This is really cool. When a breakpoint is hit, a callback gets called. Um, this is a basic test. You just uh, connect down the registers, check if everything is okay with the write, and then you store uh, zeros for two kilobytes, and then you check if that's. So this is basically a simple scripting of loading data into memory, doing some checks on that, etc. But what is really cool is. Um, Um, is the callback part. Um, and, uh, this is the RSP dump callback. Basically, you can define a certain function in your code that you instrument your code with, and whenever that code gets called, this uh, breakpoint hits, and you can do interactive stuff on that. And I'm going to show you what, uh, what I, uh, I did some example. So, test C. So this is an extremely simple C program that is going to be compiled and uploaded into, into this device. Basically it sets a number and then it dumps the number via the RSP dump. I will show you the RSP dump is a very simple one uh, <coughs> assembler uh, function. Uh, then it dumps hello world, sets a number in, in, uh, in the memory, dumps the number again and then it calls finish. This is an extremely simple, where you see how the instrumentation works of binaries that you want to instrument. And um, this one. Uh, 
Isn't the GCC gonna optimize that assignment out? Um, no, that's a good question. Why not? Maybe because I said not to optimize it the way okay. minus all parameters. Um, <coughs> so, um, uh, um, yes. Um, so uh, basically, what PyRSP does, uh, it needs to be told what kind of architecture it needs to interface with, then some kind of serial port where you interface with the G debugger, and then you give it the test F file, and everything will happen as magic because it's scripted. You don't have to touch any kind of debugger, and it's so immediate, amazingly convenient. If you ever did debugging and did the same part five times in a row, you hate that, really. And with this, you script it once and you can hit enter, enter, does it work the same? Yes, 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 it's like unit testing, it's really convenient not having to touch a debugger, but the scripts do uh, uh, the stuff for you. So basically, what is now happening, uh, you see uh, uh, this blinking LED is showing that uh, there's some firmware running, with most probably a blink test compiled program, <coughs> so it, it's just simply blinking, and it will not stop because the uh, JTAG is going to interrupt the running and you will see the output of uh, the test F that I compiled and what is happening um, yes thank you <laughs> what the ah eh. <laughs>
compiled in. This is RSP dump. It just simply returns to the value in the last return register. Right? And this other one is a, a, an endless loop, an infinite loop. Uh, and that's it. These are the two. That's basically if you instrument with, uh, with this file, you add four bytes in total, but you get uh, quite fun um, interaction possibilities with the program that you're running. Um, and I must say, embedded development with PyRSP is really, really fun. You write code, you have a make file, the make file compiles shit, and then it uploads it to the, to the, to the device, tests it, get your output, and you see immediately what you want. It's like you have a REPL in, a, in an interpreter almost. It is really convenient. I can really recommend that to everyone uh, to at least try it out. If you ever have the chance, if you need to do this in, in, um, in, in an Intel platform, in a Kremu uh, virtual machine, or if you actually do embedded hardware stuff, ARM32 is supported, but uh, support for other platforms is not very difficult to uh, add to this debugger. Questions? Okay. Thank you.